welcome to day two of our two week trip to Ghana. So, I don't know if I updated y'all, but we checked out of that hostel, okay? We woke up at the crack of dawn, and I'm telling you, as soon as my eyelids open, I looked at Dorian, he looked at me, and we said, let's go. So, we left. Um... <laughs> We were only staying there for two days, so the hotel that we had already planned to stay in, we just called them and was like, hey, can we check in earlier? Now, granted, I think they scammed us. I'm not even gonna lie. Cause she tried to charge us $200 for one night. And then gonna say, yeah, we only have one room left, so it's just $200 because it's the same day fee. I looked this up online, y'all. It was literally $150. So she just took $50 and she about to eat good tonight. I'ma just let her have it cause we had to get up out the hostel. Anyway, we just showered. I love this hotel. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And they have a lot of amenities here. The gym, they have a pool, a restaurant, and some other stuff. So I'll let y'all know how that is. But right now we're gonna go get some food. I comb my hair out because I plan on getting some braids. I don't know what we getting yet. I think we're gonna get like some straight back feed-ins. Dorian's stomach is hurting because he drank the water last night. Honey, <laughs> you drank the ice. He had ice in his cup and you, you know, you can't drink the water. So he was just in that toilet, literally in it. This restaurant is called Bondi. Really, really, really cute. Let's see how the food is. The menu looks nice. This drink is so good. I got pineapple and ginger. Pineapple, orange, and ginger because it needs to knock the the nasalness out of my throat right now, and it tastes really good. I just finished getting my hair braided. If you follow me on TikTok, go ahead and look at the TikTok that I posted. It only took two hours and I think it was about 20 something dollars. We're about to go to the beach. We're waiting on our Uber. And we also need to get cash. We still haven't got cash. We need to convert our US dollars. Is this him? Okay guys, why we were in our Uber and we just got randomly searched by the police. I thought they was about to extort us because like I just said, me and Dorian have all this cash because we haven't um, exchanged it. So we got like, 400 US dollars just sitting in our bag. I'm thinking the Uber driver set us up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in my head like, bro, this man just set us up. I still, you think he did? Yeah, I still think I think he did. He pulls us over and the police is like, oh, we need y'all to get out. What? He's like, oh, we're doing random searches for drugs and weapons, whatever, whatever. So we get out the car. This man goes through our whole bag. He looks at my passport and I think that's why he didn't do nothing because he saw I was American. Then they got another police officer to come and that's what got weird too, because the other dude. He told me that you search him. Yeah. It was, anyway, so we're on we were on the way to this place called Sandbox. It's like a really popping like beach club. I heard a lot about it. And I heard it's more on the pricey side, but anyway, we on the way here and we didn't know it was a dress code. Cause Mr. Over here just wear white beaters everywhere. Like, can you put on a shirt? We waiting on the Uber. We about to go back and change. We made a reservation for seven at 6 p.m. So I'm gonna let y'all know how this place is because from the outside, you know, we can't get in right now, but it look like it's popping. So we just got extorted by the police and I'm gonna do a story time on it. So you can click the link here to watch. Anyway, I don't wanna talk about it. So <laughs> we're about to find something to eat and lift up the spirit because the mood is dead. The vibes are killed. They're gone, so. Last night, I didn't really feel like blogging. I was just really upset about the extortion thing and just kind of like the way we've been getting treated here. But anyway, we just went to the hotel restaurant to eat and we just chilled here. We didn't even want to leave the hotel yesterday. I kind of want to go home. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do today, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. I've not been feeling good all day. Like I've literally been in the bed. I've been ordering a bunch of tea and ginger and concoction. Now we're at the alley. 
and I'm already loving it here. Let me tell you why, because I asked the server, I was like, hey, is there a pharmacy open right now? Because it's late, it's like 10.30. And he's like, oh, do you want me to send someone to go get it? And I was like, that would be amazing. Because I honestly didn't want to go to a pharmacy this late and like get an Uber. So he sent someone to go get it. And so we just ordered food. We ordered some hookah. I'm hoping the food is good. But if it's not, at least I'm getting some medicine. Because I haven't taken any actual like cold medicine. I've just been taking like my allergy medicine and like tea and ginger. Because I don't know if I'm really sick or if it's my allergies or just a change of weather. <laughs> Buenos dias. We are back. I'm feeling so much better. I was able to get some medicine last night. So I'm back. Like, they're not going to hold me down anymore. I got this. It's been working wonders. The lighting in here is really bad, so bear with me. But we just finished getting dressed. Here's the fit. Now we're about to call our Uber and we're gonna go get some food. And I kinda wanna go to the beach today, but I don't know, cause last time we went to the beach, we got extorted, so we'll see. Okay, this is where we decided to come eat. Unfortunately, they don't have any breakfast or any, any snacks. So I had to get some chicken wings, which I actually just had yesterday. But this is a cute little spot. Only downside I can say is that they don't have any air conditioning in this spot. Other than that, we'll see how the food is when it comes. Okay, so I just got some wings because I'm gonna eat at the next restaurant and he basically got the same thing as me. We'll be sharing that rice. His food was so spicy. He's sweating. My sinuses have cleared up. Like I can breathe again. That's how spicy this food was. We're back at our favorite spot. This is the place we came when we first got here. I love this place. 100 percent recommend it. The service is like immaculate. I love the vibe here. Y'all need to come here, okay? She's very hungry. She gets very grouchy when she gets hungry. Okay, remember our favorite spot? They didn't have any food, so we left. It was like a 40 minute drive here. I was knocked out in that Uber. But we're here, we're going to this place called Sky Bar. It's supposed to be like real uppity, so we are gonna see. I think it's in a hotel. Sky Bar? Sky Bar. Okay. I hope they ain't got no dress code, cause you love to wear a white beater. back at the hotel because you know who who don't know how to put on clothes so we're about to take a quick shower now that we have to change and then we're gonna get dressed and go back to sky bar and the fool all i know is the fool better be given the fool better be given no the fool better be given for all this we done did because he about to iron his clothes and mine we just got back from that rooftop restaurant that we came all the way here to change and come back and the that fool nasty as Watch your mouth, cause Bridge watches this. Sorry, Bridge, but that was nasty. I <laughs> it feel was like so I was, nasty. I wasted all the money I had out here on. I wasted all my money. Definitely and put expensive. on a, and I put on a good. And fit. I put that on. I put that bleep on. Okay, we don't need to see the vlog. <laughs> Let me show them. Turn around. This is his first vlog, y'all. What? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way. No. It is. <laughs> no, it's not. That. I got four vlogs. Like what? No, you don't. I do. Anyway, the food was nasty, it was expensive. We just paid American prices in Africa. For some American food that was nasty. Them quesadillas. Horrible. It had olives in them, just imagine. <laughs> no you bite them. into a quesadilla and you taste the olive. You're supposed to taste cheese and chicken. The burger was like, they mushed it together like this. Yeah, the top of the burger bun had like fingerprints. Like they were back there like, <laughs> Her <laughs> salmon was a tilapia, like Yeah, on. my salmon didn't even look cooked and then, where was the side? Like, was it a la court? Cause that's not what he said. So then I back it up. So then I had to order some french fries. And y'all, the french fries didn't even get for real like, and I just wasted my calories and I'm upset. Anyway, I'm about to get in the shower door. She gotta go somewhere. Bye y'all. <laughs> Good morning guys. Well, I'm still late start. It's already two o'clock. I really wanted a smoothie. Like, if you know me, I'm always drinking smoothies. I love fruit. So we found this smoothie place. It's called Nourish Lab Smoothies. I got a smoothie. They're all out of mango, which is my favorite fruit. So, so I got banana, pineapple, and something else. And then I also got a chicken panini. So I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes. And I don't think this is good. This don't look too good. This is my panini. Okay, update. 
It's like the banana that I got is overpowering the entire smoothie. Like it tastes like she put three bananas and one pineapple. It's not bad. There's a fly in here. Now let's talk about the sandwich. I got a panini. It's not really warm, which is something I don't like. Like I like my paninis warm. But it just tastes like a lot of mayonnaise. It's not bad. I give it an eight. What do you rate yours? So okay. It's Y'all, we're trying this new beach club. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be real. Either the food was busting or I was hungry. Because I tore it out. Oh, okay. She came back and was like, it was good. I said, yeah. Don't, don't ask me questions. You know that food. You see the plate is clean. Oh, it's my birthday. I'm trying to get in the birthday mood because I'm still feeling a little sick. It's one o'clock. We just now get up. We're about to go to brunch. And. Hopefully the maid will still come clean his room because he knocked earlier and this room looks a hot mess because we got Mr. Hot Mess over here. We have a resi. Sorry for us because it's the I know y'all, this, this beach club is the one we tried to go to the day we got extorted. So seriously, <laughs> pray for us because if I get extorted on my birthday, I'm calling the embassy for all this time. We had a reservation at Sandbox. I gotta tell y'all the tea about this because that place, the food was just not giving, the service was not giving. And at this point, I'm just really tired of my food not giving. I didn't get any birthday pictures because I was just not in the birthday mood. Still kind of, I'm still kind of not in the birthday mood. But anyway, we went to a mood bar. We went here a few days ago. I mentioned it. They had the really good steak. What time is this? 10 o'clock. This place is supposed to be getting lit later on. So hopefully we get to turn up a bit. Last time we came, we sat inside. But they talking about it's for sections only. Like, ain't nobody in there. So I'm confused. So we stayed in Moo Bar and enjoyed my birthday. Dorian got them to bring me a cake and it was so cute. Um, it's always so awkward for me when people are seeing me happy birthday because I don't know what to do. But anyway, make sure you are subscribed. Part three will be dropping next week and we're going to Cape Coast and the Slave Dungeon. So make sure you stay tuned. See you guys then.